a thick cloud of dust engulfing the Amasaman and Sawam stretch of the N6 highway. Vehicles struggle to navigate through the haze. Drivers feel the impact as they cannot see well due to the swelling dust. They keep honking in frustration as visibility diminishes. Pedestrians covering their faces stained with dust, especially their hair and eyelids. Some pedestrians say the dust resulting from the reconstruction of the highway is exposing so much harm to them. If you are constructing a road that has people working at the same place, people living uh, who are whose livelihood are dependent on the road, at least either you cut it bit by bit or you find a way of watering the road. You hear the road accident. Those things are avoid. I can. These are avoidable things. You don't wait for people to die before you learn. I don't know what kind of leadership we have. can you construct road like this? People cannot move. There is traffic. And people wake up to go to work in the morning. So what do you expect? Everybody is affected. Talk to an ordinary man here. Talk to an ordinary woman. All of them are affected. The road is nonsense. Leaves of trees are covered in dust. Houses and shops, which hitherto were white in color, now appear painted in a coat of fine brown powdery dust. Victoria Ampofua, a resident along the stretch, is thinking of relocating from her own house. I am in the hall of Victoria Ampofua. Her home is just a minute walk from the roadside. That's the Amasaman stretch. She's unable to sit here to relax and watch her television because the dust doesn't stop penetrating into her room. This is her couch and you can clearly see dust stains all over it. She tells me that she cleans here every day she mops here in the morning and in the evening but still dust makes its way into her room you come towards the side this place i was told was more barely two hours ago and if you wipe your hand on the floor this is what you find and this is really disturbing it is not just her the numerous houses on the stretch faces the same challenge and most of them are unable to stay here and to make matters worse they are battling with some health complications the dust is killing us our children are always suffering from cough we are really struggling because of the road local businesses grapple with the situation as dust settles on their hopes and dreams rose abai a trader along the stretch has resorted to using transparent polythene to cover her items to prevent them from getting dirty. It has affected my business. Customers refuse to buy because they say it's dirty. Every time you travel on this road, it's like taking a dangerous risk because the dusty conditions make it risky at every corner. Tragedy struck the spot on Monday, February 5, 2024, claiming seven lives when a speeding truck collided with a minibus, otherwise known as Shosho, on the Amasaman and Sewam section of the N6 highway in Accra. Eyewitnesses recount that the minibus navigating through ongoing highway reconstruction slowed down near a pothole. However, the following truck failed to decelerate, resulting in a fatal rear end collision. Eyewitnesses report that passengers were unresponsive as they were extracted from the wreckage. The stretch of road is responsible for increased health challenges like respiratory conditions. An administrator at the Gawas Municipal Hospital confirmed this. In terms of clients that present in our facility um, with upper respiratory tract infection is becoming a source of concern for the hospital management. From November 2023, to January 2024, we recorded a staggering figure of 826, which translates into about 52% thereabout increase. And we think this is a sharp rise. This could be attributable to the road that's under construction. Residents here say they cannot continue to grapple with dust while the reconstruction works go on. 
they have thus called on the contractor to fix the problem immediately. Godwin Asidiba, TV3.